that old piano from down the avenue. For more than 40 years, a Prairie Home Companion with Garrison Keeler has been a Saturday night ritual for millions. Gathered around the radio. Oh, my sweet, sweet, sweet someone. And as they dance the night away, they're doing the tango. It's an old-fashioned variety show performed by a family of troubadours. Well, here we are in Lenox, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah. Massachusetts. The state that's Fred Newman is the maestro of sound. Yeah. No! Now, I'm going I'm to do a chiropractic move for you, OK? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Remember, yeah, it's radio. Hey, Jane. <laughs> yeah. What Fred Newman actually yeah. does for a living nice is hard to say. That was the thing that drove my mother crazy. She just needed something at Bridge Club. What does your son do? Boom. I'm really doing what I used to do behind teachers' backs and getting paid for it. This thing where you actually run in place and you'll go, oh, oh, Fred oh, has harnessed you. his weirdness. Nobody else could do dolphins as Fred can. You want to see dolphins do the Gettysburg Address. Nobody else in radio could ever do helicopters. So the chopper could come in and pick him up. And Newman makes most of the sounds with his mouth, so Keeler is free to improvise. A submarine surfaced. And, and so Garrison does that. When we go out, let's do something with office supplies. And, you know, the next thing I know, my tie is... <laughs> it's caught in a Xerox machine, you know. You were playing basketball, tennis. It's nothing but fun to be able to challenge Fred's genius uh, because he's, he's so far beyond what we ordinarily would do in, in radio. Two rats, one of whom has the hiccups. <laughs> A show that I did by myself would be too high-minded. And, you know, so we bring in somebody who can do primates. And, you know... <laughs> The guy we associate with sound is primarily a listener. That's for sure. And this is his listening post. There's only one easy way to get out here. A bright red kitchen chair on a branch reaching out over a pond at his Connecticut home. It goes from birds to amphibians, amphibians to birds. And there's a whole vocabulary of frogs, equally as beautiful as the birds. There was a similar spot in his childhood home. We lived on the edge of town, on a lake. You'd hear the dog, <laughs> Mama, somebody's come up the driveway. These weren't interruptions. These were opportunities. Sounds were, oh, the cows are out. And then there were the bugs. Fred Newman grew up in the Deep South, LaGrange, Georgia, in the 50s. We had a black maid. Her name was Dot. And Dot introduced me to a little store called Jack Fling's Cash and Carry Grocery Store. The currency there was stories. And uh, blacks and whites mixed just to cool off, get a cold Coca-Cola, you know, a big orange, and, and it would tell stories. And perform some astonishing tricks. Fred the Yardman could swallow lit cigars, like that, pop it in his mouth, and then he'd take a Coca-Cola and swallow, just like this, and then he blow smoke out of his nose. And I went, oh my gosh. And at five years old, Fred Newman had found his calling. Dad, I want to swallow lit cigars for a living, like <laughs> Fred the Yard Man. That's good, son, you aim high. <laughs> the maestro of sound learned from the masters, like the old man called Snipes. Fred, you ever watch the water drip? Watch it all the way down. And I watched it come down. Poop, poop. And the two sounds, it goes, poop, it blows a hole, and then it goes, whoop. I said, how you do? You see what you do? You breathe through your nose. So you're making your mouth into a cup. You just tap on your cheek. And what you're going to do is you're going to push the water out, like if you're brushing your teeth. So 
After that, he started collecting sounds. What do you think that is? Some old tools of the trade. It's a, a flock of starlings. Others he's fashioned himself. It actually was an instrument that broke. This is a tuna, tuna can. can, you're exactly right. Making music that almost defies description. <clears throat> Just bottle caps flattened. Or something that might sound familiar. <laughs> Remember Doug from the 90s? Fred Newman co-wrote the music, did the sound effects, and many of the voices for the animated hit show. And when Hollywood needs a really special effect, Fred Newman's phone rings. Hello. Hey, how you doing? This is uh, Joey. We got his movie with uh, Sandra Bullock and uh, Nicole Kidman, and his frog swallows a, uh, a wedding band. Can you do that sound of a frog Swallowing the web and then throwing it up. Could you do that? I said, Yeah, I could. I could do that. Could you do it right now? It's just nine o'clock in the morning. I'm in my PJs. You know. I said, Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Uh, People up on ladders for washing windows. On a prairie home, Fred Newman has found a perfect home for his unique gifts. My daddy barks and meows, Mrs. Lewis. Oh, I see. Uh, why? I don't know. Let me ask you this, honey. Do you feel safe at home? And in Garrison Keeler, a perfect collaborator. There are moments that we have out there that things are not exactly spoken, but there's communication through his eyebrows or something, and I know that it's got to be a little bit bigger. Picked up by a farmer on a farm all tractor. Beep, beep. And on in here. I didn't know if the tractors had horns, but, but that's great. Just you ride this thing like a surfboard. It's just wonderful. Like to run into other tractors out in the soybean field? I don't know. I always say it's, it is just a big piece of jazz. I love being around musicians, all those good looking. But Garrison Keeler is stepping away from the mic at the end of the season. And this unique collaboration will end. But on a playful note. I'm available for weddings and funerals. Going to the chapel. You too. Because I'm going to the chapel mm. and we're gonna get married. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. Very nice space. <laughs> Thank you.